Well, despite the biggest sockeye salmon run in British Columbia on the Fraser in a century, some of the spawning beds on Vancouver Island are nearly empty this fall. If you've been to Goldstream Park uh, lately, you probably haven't seen too many fish. The salmon run is down by 75%, and it has many people wondering why so few chum have come back to the river. Astrid Braunschmidt went fishing for answers today. There may not be many fish in this river, but there is still a lot to learn. Hey. All the different carcasses, and those are what will wash down to the estuary and attract the eagles. Students from St. Margaret's School are studying the life cycle of salmon. At Goldstream Park, they're trying to find out why the number of chum salmon is down. I can really notice the lack of salmon this year as compared to other years when I've been out here. In an average year, about 20,000 chum salmon return to Goldstream. This year, only 4,500 have come back to the river. Park naturalists are waiting to see if any more will come, and the seagulls are waiting too. So are the eagles perched high above the river, looking at the few carcasses left. We've been holding out hope that they're still on their way, but um, they haven't appeared yet. We're hoping they're just late. Chum return to the rivers to spawn every four years. Scientists say a poor food supply in 2007 is to blame for this year's low returns. In 2007, actually all juvenile salmon that, that entered the Strait of Georgia either had really poor growth or poor survival or both. That may also explain last year's collapse of Fraser River salmon stocks before September's record return of sockeye, the best in nearly a century. Fortunately, says Dr. Beamish, future chum returns shouldn't be affected by this year's low numbers. Uh, the run this year uh, meets their conservation targets and um, it should be enough for future years. Good news for the next group of students fishing for answers. In Langford, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.